Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right, we are actually have a TV on behind the camera watching Daytona qualifying. Round one just got over. I'm a little behind. Um, and so round two is getting ready to start for the poll. Who's going to be on the poll? Now, I did a video on Daytona, qual Daytona qual qualifying prediction. The two open teams that I had qualified on time tonight. The number 67, Travis Pastrana, and the 84, uh, Jimmy Johnson, both are the two that are already qualified for the 500. So, get that right. Proud of that. This one here is storylines of 2023. There's so many different storylines of stuff coming off of last year that we need to look at this year. Um, first off, the year two of the next gen car. Are, is the teams going to get that much better with it? Are we going to learn a lot? Car fires. We had a lot of car fires last year. The modification to the rocker boxes, is that going to help? The modification to the tires, is that going to help? We know we had a fire at the Coliseum, but that was unrelated to the issue last year. But did we get the issue fixed? Blown tires. We blew a lot of tires first half of the year last year. Was it a tire issue? No, I don't think it was a tire issue at all. I think it was teams getting real aggressive with camera and real aggressive with tire pressure. Are they still going to do it? Looks like they kind of did better at the end of the year. But are they going to get better with that? Tire co tires coming off. There was a big problem last year. Again, it got better second half of the year. But there are new rules this year. So, on pit road, under yellow, if you wheel come off, you go to the end of the longest, you go to the end of the field. If you're on pit road and it's green flag pit stops, you go, you have a pastor penalty. If it's on the track, from the yellow line when you pull into the yellow line you left is outside of that. If it's on the track. Two lap penalty, and NASCAR will suspend two crew members. My guess is either tire carrier, jackman, or tire changer. Not the crew chief this year. They've learned that suspending a crew chief means nothing. Jimmy Johnson's return. How's he going to do? How many races is he going to run? Right now we know two. He's in the Daytona 500, and he is going to try to qualify for the Chicago Street Race. Big thing, crash impact. Have we got the rear fixed? What happened last year with Kurt Busch and Alex Bowman? Have the new rear clips, did we make a difference? Or, you know, we're not going to know until we have an accident like that. Hopefully we have. And can Kurt Busch return? I want to see Kurt Busch come back, run some races. I would love for him to come back next year for a full season, but probably not going to happen. Maybe some bucket list stuff, some one-off stuff, that would be kind of cool. North Wilkesboro All-Star Race. Whew, that track hasn't been paved since... <laughs> early 90s weather track how's it going to eat tires up at the all-star race how much fun is it going to be back at north wilkesboro chicago street race how's that going to go off we know what the coliseum did what about those two races we had new new place new drivers in new places kyle bush in the eight tyler reddick in the 45 ty gibbs in the 54 you know people can compare all three of them this year um now during the off season they, the RTA, the Racing Team Alliance, had a talked about needing to make more money. We know there's a TV contract coming up. We know the percent that the teams get is talked about. Is it going to go up? What's that TV contract going to look like? We won't know that until the end of 24. I think we'll get some details in the 25 or 23. Now the RTA I talked about after the 23 season. That's this coming off season running their own exhibition races. They can't use the next gen car. How's that going to work? I have an idea for that actually. And make sure you check out. I'm going to do a uh, schedule prediction coming up. Kind of the fantasy booking and schedule. And I have an, I have an idea for the RTA. I'll make sure you check that out. Um, Denny Hamlin. FedEx sponsorship is up at the end of the year. His contract with Joe Gibbs is up at the end of the year. Will FedEx be back? Is 2023 going to, for Denny Hamlin going to be the 2022 of Kyle Busch? He has his own team. He can always go there. What's going to happen? We have a final season for Kevin Harvick. How's that going to go? Is he going to win races? How's he going to do in that final season? Martin Church Jr., will this be his final season? Or will he come back for one more? We don't know. Toyota's talked about adding teams in 24. We'll know sometime this summer who... They want an existing team. Who's going to switch over to Toyota? 
another big storyline in the Xfinity series. John Hunter Nemechek, who was fifth in points last year in the truck series, he's full time Xfinity. Chandler Smith, who was also KBM, same with John Hunter, he's full time with Color Grace in the Xfinity series. How are they going to do? Um, in the truck series, we have a couple different storylines to look at. Tricom Garage went from Ford to Toyota. They are now the Toyota, um, I guess, part of the pipeline that KBM was. How's Tricon going to do as a Toyota team? Well, the Ford team, yes, they had a win with Ryan Priest. I would really hope that a Cup Series level driver going to the Truck Series, someone that's had success in Xfinity, that would be able to win in a Truck Series. But Tricom's had three career wins, two with Ryan Priest, and one with, no, one with Ryan Priest, one with Todd Gilliland, and one with uh, Tyler Ankrum a few years ago. Um, Corey Heim is a winning truck driver. We know he won in KBM equipment. Can he win in Tricom equipment? Thor Sport going from Toyota to Ford. Haley Deegan in a Thor Sport Ford. This is a make it or break it year for her. I wanted to see her in Xfinity. I think the Arca, what she did in Arca will, would go more with Xfinity than it would truck. But she's in truck for one more year. I just want improvement. I'm tired of people saying that she can she can drive she's a good driver she just needs to get a chance and good equipment Thor Sport is good equipment they had three drivers in the top in the playoffs last year and two drivers in the final four that's top tier equipment right there we have a bunch of rookies we have in the cup in the truck series we have Rajah Cruz in the 24 Daniel Dye in the 43 Brent Holmes in the 32 Nick Sanchez and Rev Racing number two. That's really a satellite um, KBM truck. Jake Garcia in the 35. We have KBM going to Chevro from Toyota to Chevrolet. There's a big thing. In Xfinity, we have rookies Chandler Smith in the 16. Parker Rutzkloff in the 31. Blaine Perkins in the 07. Sammy Smith in the 18 for Joe Gibbs. Connor Mozak in the 19 for Gibbs and the 24 for Sam Hunt. And then in the Cup Series, we had Noah Gregson in the 42 with Legacy Motor Club. We had Ty Gibbs in the 54 for Joe Gibbs. Zane Smith making seven starts between the 36 in the, in the Daytona and the 38. He's going to run five, five or six races in the 38. But during that time, Todd Gittleland, at least five of them, will be over at 15 for Rick Ware Racing. Those are some of the big storylines of 2023 that we're going to follow we'll definitely kind of go over this list at the end of the year and see if we've been able to answer any of the outstanding questions as always thanks for watching the robert sports show don't just have a great day this 50 day robert sports show your youtube leader in sports channel content